CMC was here. Wonder whose profile is this? Let's unzoom a little bit. And would you look at that? Almost 1600 problems solved. So, yeah, welcome everyone to this kind of story time video where I'm going to talk about that time I might have broken the code. I mean, it could be anyone. I'm just saying it might have been me. But yeah. So, once upon a time, okay, that's not a good way to start the story, is it? So, once upon a time, me, my friends uh, on my WhatsApp group were discussing their lead code profiles. And I, as a competitive programmer, have never really bothered about lead code. I mean, it's below my level. I don't practice on this garbage website. The website sucks, the UI sucks. The problem quality sucks, it's garbage, the contest suck, and everything sucks. I'm kidding, it's not that bad, but you know, as a competitive program, it's below my level. So, I never really pro solve problems here. So, that's why my pro solve problems were like 8p at that time. And when my friends were discussing, like they have x solve problems, y solve problems, that was like, I was like, Damn, my profile kind of sucks. So I speed ran to this rating pretty much like this part. I speed ran and then I kind of stopped. So I, I speed ran to 2096. And but I thought that, OK, I can like speed run rating, but I'm not going to solve all these problems. So it still kind of look garbage. So I might have been the one to wonder, can we cheat? through this lead code system. Not the contest, but the solved problems. And from a quick Google search, lead code solutions, I found this website. I mean, I might have found this website. It's all under the pretense of this might have happened. Okay, I'm not gonna mention that again. So, and here, if I go to quick start, as you can see, it has solutions for pretty much all the problems, it seems. And so what I did, is that I picked the Python, okay? Then I wrote a loop and I submit it. Wait a minute, oh, okay. So how did I know like what API call to make to submit? That's kind of very trivial. So let's go to any problem, you know. So if I go to any problem, let's say to sum, And if I open network tab, and I just click on submit, here's the submit request, here's the payload, here's the headers. I can also just copy as curl, and I have the request. I'm not going to show you because it will have my CSRF token. People will hack me. But yeah, so I use that to submit here, and I would just call a get request here. So like. Let's say this is right. So I would do curl this. And I would get this website. And if you inspect element, the code is inside the code element. So that seemed pretty trivial, but there were more than one caveats to this. First of all, not all problems are solved. Some are like outdated, they get TLE because uh the the test cases are updated and some are just not there like yeah like this one wow that was good this is not there and many other not just for database for algorithms as well so it's not a complete solution set okay it is not a very complete solution set look at this okay so actually there were many problems that are not solved so after and there was another caveat and that is that this problem number you see, the problem ID, and the problem number here, right? Uh, here. This is the front end ID. The back end ID is different, and I needed to put the back end ID in my uh, request curl when I do the submit request. And that is how I wasted a lot of submissions. And then there's some rate limiting per day. So I had to waste some time, but as you can see, some uh, one or two days, I guess. So after I fixed both of them, 
I was able to get to around 800 and 900 solved. But after that, there was not really any massive source of solutions like this one. So what I tried is, uh, not tried, it was basically I was forced to do, and that is scrape solutions from discuss section. Actually, before this, I tried one more thing. You see how every, uh, what we say, premium member have all the solutions, right? So I tried, maybe if I can hack, okay, maybe if I can hack some sort in some sort of way to get this access, maybe I can use it. I mean, obviously, if I would get something like that, I would first of all report it. And maybe from the money I will get, I will buy the cheat code premium. But, you know, just out of curiosity, I try. I fail because I suck at hacking. But yeah, that's something that happened. And then obviously, in the end, I decided to settle to discuss. Now, discuss scraping is horrible. Okay. First of all, if you go here, right, uh, you don't really get this from any api call i mean i think there's a graphql call but uh, i was not able to use its curl so I, what i had to do is uh, resort to my final weapon that is selenium so simulate the browser go to this url check the first you know answer and get the whatever uh so this is like look here this is not a good answer, right? This is not a solution. So I have to check more than one, right? So like, let's say, okay, actually, I'm not on a problem either. So let's go to some problem. And here in the discuss section, I would go to most words. And here I would pick up the thing that is in the code block. But there were many caveats to this. First of all, I have to figure out the correct language. Then some people do not add the class you know everything is inside a class solution in uh, lead code right some people add that add that some people don't then some people's code may be wrong then there can be some parsing issues it was just a mess and after going through all of them i might have been the one to get to 1552 solutions now you might be wondering why didn't the person who did this go all the way. And I think the reason is pretty much all the problems that are left are, you guessed it, premium. So a lot of them are premium and uh, most of them are actually premium and maybe SQL related or bash related. And that is why the one, maybe it was me, maybe it was some anyone, didn't bother. So yeah, that was a little story of how I might have solved a problem just out of curiosity you know so yeah i hope you like this video if you did leave a like subscribe and do tell me if you like this format where i just talk about a problem i solved in a in a interactive man not interactive i mean in just a story manner i think i try i try to make most of these problems i solve like c2 ladders or whatever to be inter, uh, to be story type because uh, those give more engagement on YouTube. I don't really care about you. I care about engagement. I care about views. I care about subscribers. So if you want to be cared about, so click that subscribe button because then you will be a subscriber. Anyways, that was it. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you. This was so late. Next time.